It is Super Tuesday. More delegates are up for grabs today than any other presidential contest. And the polls are now open, as we mentioned, about three minutes now. Matthew Torres live at Charlotte Park Elementary in West Nashville this morning. And Matthew, there's already a line behind you. Yeah, I mean, there was already a line even before the doors have opened. So just take a look behind me right now. Again, we are here on at Charlotte Park Elementary School, and we have just several voters easily, more than a dozen here at this very moment. Again, this is just, what, a couple of minutes since 7 started. So for anyone interested in voting, again, if you are a registered voter, you can come out to your designated polling location starting now until 7 p.m. This is just one out of 100. 160 voting locations across Davidson County. And as you heard from Nancy DeCab with the Davidson County Election Commission earlier, they're expecting a huge turnout. Again, of course, with what the climate of the presidential race is like this year. One voter I spoke to said it is an interesting uh, race this year. So that is just one description that he is using to really put together uh, as far as the excitement and maybe even some of the, uh, the confusion and just the craziness that is of the uh, primary that's happening here, not only in Tennessee, but of course in the 10 other states uh, across the country. So if we come back out here live, we do have some people making their way inside the door, even some families. Uh, so overall, precinct workers have been here since really 5.30 a.m. and they're planning to be out here until 8 o'clock tonight. So again, if you are planning to vote, make sure to bring your photo ID. And if you get a chance, also take a look at the sample ballot to help smooth this entire process. Again, uh, it looks like if we just pan to my right, voters are really just all the way up to the door. It is getting busy out here this morning. We'll be out here for the next half hour to check on how things are doing for now. Reporting live in West Nashville, I'm Matthew Torres, News Channel 5. It's a long line already, Matthew. Thanks for the live picture there. Our Super Tuesday coverage continues all day long. Of course, right here on News Channel 5 Plus, as the polls close tonight, we're going to have all kinds of expert analysis the results as they roll in you'll be seeing it live and of course a full wrap up on news channel 5 at 10 o'clock tonight and you can get the latest all day long on our website we'll be having streaming for you at newschannel5.com so check there another big story we're watching today sportscaster aaron andrews will take the stand again this morning in a multi-million dollar civil lawsuit against the Nashville Marriott. And yesterday while on the stand, she explained how she found out that her stalker had secretly recorded her and then posted that video online. Hearing that I was naked all over the internet and I didn't know what it was. And my dad was like, he thought he had been in a car accident. And he's like, why are you screaming? And I'm just like, dad, I'm naked all over the internet. And I don't know what it is. And I don't know where I am. Andrews is suing the Marriott for $75 million. Her lawyers say the hotel should have told her that a stranger requested a room next to hers back in 2008. That stranger, convicted stalker Michael Barrett, used a peephole to record Andrews changing clothes. I'm so angry. This could have been stopped. The Nashville Marriott could have just called me and said, we are putting this man that requested to be next to you. Is this okay? And I would have called the cops. Andrews will be back on the stand this morning and we'll be in the courtroom as well. Look for updates on air and online on newschannel5.com. Two men are behind bars this morning, charged in connection with a shooting in Christian County. The Kentucky New Era reporting that Jermaine White is accused of opening fire on another man near a used car dealership in Hopkinsville. It happened yesterday afternoon. Amazingly, <coughs> the victim was not hit, and White and his alleged accomplice, Brian Doolin, took off. However, hours later, they were busted for drugs in Hopkins County. White is also charged with attempted first-degree assault. Doolin is charged with complicity to attempted first-degree assault. A convenience store clerk is now facing charges for a deadly shooting over the summer. Andre Sweat charged with second-degree murder. Investigators say that... He was working as a clerk at Paul's Market on Jefferson Street. He shot and killed Anthony Williams Jr. during an argument back in June of 2015. Sweat told detectives he felt threatened and feared for his safety. The 53-year-old was arrested yesterday morning after being indicted last month.
And we now know the name of the man killed in a crash in Bellevue. Police say James Montgomery lost control on the I-40 entrance ramp at Old Hickory Boulevard and crashed into a ditch around 1030 Sunday night. The 63-year-old was rushed to the hospital but did not survive. Toxicology tests were done to see if alcohol could have been a factor. And a young woman was killed after a crash in Montgomery County. Clarksville police say Amanda Jo Peake's pickup truck slammed into a pole on Madison Street just after 6 yesterday morning. The 23-year-old was killed. The cause of the crash is still unknown. We have learned crews finished repairing a sinkhole in Murray County a little earlier in the evening. It did cause part of Highway 31 northbound to collapse for a short time near the extended stay suites. All lanes are open this morning.